Hey everyone, it's Jeanette. Just want to quickly do this video and just share with you guys a couple of palsies that I've gotten here and there. It's been crazy and hectic with work and whatnot, but I do want to let you guys know that I will be posting a couple of videos. I did get a couple of sweet and awesome presents for Christmas that I am super duper grateful for and one which if you guys follow me on Facebook and Instagram, you guys would have seen that I got the We Are Memory Keepers typewriter and my Polaroid zip that everybody I'm sure already has. And I do want to do a tutorial on this just because and yeah, I just want to do that. And again, so many things that I want to say, but it's just, yes, it's, I do not want to bore you guys. My December daily, which again, I did seriously like process videos for like the first few pages and then I just gave up and I haven't even finished this year's which is crazy because last year's was my first year doing it again it's work has been crazy and I just haven't had a chance to finish I do just need a couple of the last dates which obviously is you know not that bad but hopefully <laughs> I can finish that soon and again my typewriter I am going to be sharing with you guys just random halsies again that I have just been accumulating and leaving there and again yeah oh another thing that I would love to share and do a tutorial or an unboxing what you guys call it here from this printer which again I've heard so many good reviews um yes that again people you have used for their December daily and I want to give that a try and yeah that was like my Christmas present from me to me <laughs> and yeah so that is that so I guess I will be right back I have tried doing this video like three four times already and memory and whatnot tried doing it on my son's phone and it was just it was just crazy uh, but yes, yeah, so I will stop rambling and be right back. Alrighty, so hopefully I don't jump all over the place, but again, these have just been sitting here and again, I have not been able to share and haven't even been able to play with them, but I'm going to go ahead and share with you guys so I can seriously put these things away. And yes, so my creative time, Emma. I'm sure you guys have heard of her. I just decided to pick up a couple things. This is, I had tried picking this up, I believe in November and she had, was sold out of a couple of things and I waited for them to arrive, but obviously, oh, actually this was from October and then ended up receiving it to like mid November, which I was just already getting ready to seriously start on my December daily and Christmas, everything, you know? So I just put this away. If you guys know, I actually sold this die, which I kind of regretted <laughs> and just decided to pick this up. So yeah, I know I am such a dork. So I picked up the rosette die and you know, you guys have seen, I'm sure those lollipop rosettes that everybody's been doing that they, you know, add in, you know, pocket letters or whatnot. And I've just seen so much inspiration, seriously, that I just decided to pick this up again. <laughs> I'm crazy, but so I picked that up and then this is called the gift card holder it's an embossed gift card holder and I picked this up for a reason and it's because it actually would totally fit perfect in one of these which was the set oh it's in here yeah and yes so it's like this birthday baggie that you seriously create with this obviously you die cut it twice and yeah, and it creates like your own little gift bag and you could obviously you know do a sentiment on the outside of the baggie with the stamps that come with the collection and then obviously if you want to do a gift card inside of that little goodie bag you put that in there you know coordinate with the paper and yeah it was super duper cute and again this was I was gonna pick this up in October and then she didn't get it until November so obviously for next year but I saw super cute inspiration from one of the designers and decided to pick this up so that was 
that. I know I rambled too much. Someone on Facebook was selling the Greeting Farm um, a little magic and be a unicorn. And it sucks because she, I mean, she has the packaging from it, but it doesn't come with the sleeve. And it's such a bummer because I'm so A about my packaging. And I totally did not see that. So yeah, I just picked these up. I believe they were like $10 a piece. And most sites were already sold out from these. And yeah, so that was just something random. And this was again like so in October. I have no idea when this was. But I went on Simon Say Stamp and you guys know that this was an exclusive to their site that obviously you were not going to be able to find anywhere else. So I picked that up and then the coordinating dies. And yeah, I'm sure you guys have seen that and then just picked up some Pretty Pink Posh. This is like literally my first uh, sequence from this brand. And this one was from... Not the not too shabby shop which i'm sure you guys have heard of this was again it's not it's recent but not really this was in november like literally more than a month ago and i ended up picking up the mini remix boys and then the mini remix fall and their coordinating dies which i'm sure you guys have seen and since i had picked up the stamp sets from a facebook group I picked up the coordinated dies because she had them in stock <laughs> and yes that was that from the not too shabby shop again this was like so a while back I just have everything in a basket and I'm like getting ready to seriously organize and purge a ton of things because I'm gonna be doing a ton of D stashes and I'm gonna be obviously having a giveaway this order is actually from scrapbookpal.com and I ended up picking up a couple of things from their new release which I'm sure you guys have seen all of them this is the Octopi My Heart and then the Courtney Dies and then Be My Valentine the Border the Fancy Scallop Circle Stackables and then the fancy scallop to rectangle stackables, which again. And with this order, I seriously picked up the new jet black ink, but for some reason it came damaged, like big time, like broken. And like all I was able to smell in my package was the black ink, well like the ink. And I contacted them and they were super duper sweet and ended up sending it to me. I am super duper happy that their customer service is seriously phenomenal and yeah so I ended up getting that replaced and of course I'm gonna have to throw this away because I'm sure it's dry and yeah and that is that uh, from Target which everyone's already on the craze from their Valentine's collections that are out there and I seriously only picked up like a couple of things one I ended up getting a waste basket which was I believe three dollars and I just seriously I'm not even gonna be able to share it with you guys but it was yeah it was three dollars and I just picked it up because it was pink and it was cute and yeah and also these clipboards which I thought were super duper cute which you can see there and hopefully you are able to see it let me just move these things Oh, and that little tray, yes, I forgot. This, uh, this and that tray, which I just realized that for some reason, like, there's like, it's like, that's missing right there, if you can see, yeah. It doesn't bother me, but once you see, it's kind of like, oh. And it was the only one, so I'm totally, I guess, okay with it. But it's this clipboard here, and then this one, which is just a pink polka dot, which hopefully you can see, and then it just says, make your mark. And seriously, like the, my Target has not taken everything out and I ended up picking up one of each of the ribbons and trims, which this one is, I mean, you can totally see there. I'm not even going to go into detail, but you can see it there. And then this one's in the reds, which can totally be Christmassy or Valentine's-y. 
and this one here, which is super duper cute. And yeah, those are my Halsey's. I know I picked up a ton of things from scrapbook.com, which I have not even shared. It's just, you know, last year, Simple Stories collection. And oh, and the new, actually, let me see if I can get it because. Okay, so I wasn't going to share with you guys my scrapbook.com Halsey, but I just decided to because I don't know if you have seen the Simple Stories uh, collection that is the Love and Adore. So I'm going to share with that with you guys in a little bit. But this one, I picked this up because we did go to Florida not that long ago. I know we didn't go in the summer, but of course, you know, Florida, you're... It's Florida, you know? You guys know what I mean by that. Sun and happiness, if you can... <laughs> yeah, it's sunshine and happiness. That's the name of the collection. That is too funny. And yeah, so I just decided to pick this up because I am planning on doing an album, you know, of our trip. So yeah. So this is a sticker sheet and I'm sure you guys have seen these, you know, the sunshine and happiness collection. So I'm not going to go into detail. And it's getting me... Yes. So I picked up one of each of the papers like as an extra and just because I thought it was a super duper cute collection that I would love to do 12 by 12 layouts and yeah I know I went to California last year well I guess you can say last last year because it was in 2015 which is too funny and uh, yeah so I know that there's a couple of pictures that we went to the beach and things like that so I would love to obviously create 12 by 12 layouts and I am trying to seriously just go quick because I do not want to make this video too long so yeah I did not even say I got the chipboard elements or stickers <laughs> the ephemera pack which I'm sure you guys have all seen which comes with all of these here the stickers which are the our eight four by six sheets which come with all of these here and hopefully I'm sure you can see the enamel dots and the brads which you guys are I'm sure know that these are self-adhesive now the six by six paper pad which I know I have one already but just picked one up and then this is the snap pack, which comes with all the, a ton of the 4x6, uh, 3x4s, and 2x2s, and a little bit of the ephemera, which is different than the one that comes with the, in the packaging. And yeah, so, pick that one up. And again, the entire 12x12 collection, which I forgot that came with one of the sticker sheets already, but it's totally okay. And yeah, so I picked that collection up and then this one, which again, I don't know if you guys have already seen or not. It is the Love and Adore collection by Simple Stories. And I guess it's not even the new one because it says 2016, so I don't know. But to me, it's new and I totally don't mind it. And yeah, so these are the bits and pieces, I guess. The ephemera, which you can see there. The enamel dots. The, again, four by six sheets of stickers, which you can see are all of these here. Picked up the six by six, and hopefully, I'm sure you guys can see, but you can see all of them there. And then, again, the chipboard stickers. The sticker sheet, which hopefully you can see there. And one of each of the 12 by 12 sheets, because again, like this one, it's like so, so perfect, like where you can actually just do, you know, a layout, 12 by 12 layout. Again, it's such a cute collection that I just picked up one of each and obviously the 
collection, which is much smaller than the usual collections, like the one that I just showed. And yeah, again, comes with the same exact papers that I just showed. You know, if I want to use the ones from the back, you know, like I don't have to waste, if that makes sense. And then an extra sheet of the sticker sheet. And yeah, so that is that. My randomness of a Halsey's. And yeah, I am actually expecting a couple of things from paper issues. I haven't purchased from them in a while and I decided to do like a big Halsey for the new crepe paper uh, heart day I believe it's the name of the collection and yes that is that you guys I know I keep rambling and hopefully you guys sticked around and yeah thanks so much for watching everyone bye